you've been waiting for, a senior moment with your host, Carrie Saunders. We talk about your health, staying healthy, your wealth and your golden years, and so much more. And now, a senior moment with your host, Carrie Saunders. Uh, good, uh, good morning, everyone. This is Kerry Saunders, uh, the host of a Senior Moment radio show. You can listen to me live every Saturday here on WFO Radio 96.5 1080. Uh, I don't know. I have uh, Betsy Patterson on the line today. She is the, you know, everybody knows who Betsy Pat- Patterson is, the uh, organizer of the Martin Luther King event every January at Client Hands. I'll be talking to her in a minute. Um, I have I had another guest coming in, but I, they're not here, so we won't even mention them. Um, we'll see what happens later. Uh, we are proud to have Roswell Park uh, as our um, sponsor on a senior moment radio show. Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Um, they do a lot of cancer work, uh, and they're the number one cancer hospital in Western New York. And if you um, think you need a screening or anything, you should go to Roswell and get a screen, because that's all they do is cancer. Um, and instead of going to one of these, you know, the hospitals that say they work on cancer, but go to the best, and that's Roswell. Um, you know, you can get all type of screenings there. You can get uh, 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 prostate, lung, uh, mammograms, everything you need to do for a screening. If your primary doctor tells you, I see a lump for something, uh, and they prescribe you, if they don't prescribe you Roswell, you need to say, listen, I'm going to Roswell. And so we're so glad to have them as a uh, Waffle and um, a Senior Moment Radio Show. Are proud to have Roswell as our sponsor. Um, weather outside, it's, it's getting chilly. It's a little rain, but you know this is Buffalo and this is the winter time. So I think we've been blessed. Um, we've been blessed uh, <laughs> to have the weather we have. <laughs> really, no snow. You know, I, they saw I saw on TV yesterday. It was like you, last year at this time we had 120 inches of snow. This year, we, we only had eight inches of snow. That's incredible. And so um, that is great. And I hope it holds, holds last. I think this is the, in the temperature last week, 40, 45. I know people wanted, like, they were like saying, wow, you know, it's snowing. It's not, it's not snowing and it's Christmas. But I thought, like, hey, cool, <laughs> cool. So you can get around, do your thing. You know, I had my flu shot. Um, get your flu and your, get that RSV too and get your COVID shot. Um, and that's very, we need that a lot. We need that a lot. You know, we need that, them shots because them shots are, are keeping us moving. Um, Happy New Year's. I hope everybody got their New Year's resolutions um, and are going to, you know, abide by them. To 2023, um, bless yourself that you made it through 2023. Uh, pray for all those who didn't and the families who were affected by uh, 2023 or any bad thing that happened. And, and it's a new year. That's why we turned the page. We turned the page. And so um, that's important. Um, <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to go right. I have Betsy Patterson on the line. She's on the line, and we're going to talk about the Martin Luther King event. Uh, Betsy Patterson. Miss Patterson. Hello. Hey, how, how you doing? <clears throat> Doing great. How are you, Carrie? Good, good. How's everything going? Very well, thank the Lord. Everything is going very well. That's good. How's things going with you? Good. I mean, you know, it's the New Year, so Happy New Year's. Happy New Year to do, <laughs> yeah. and I hope you had a Merry Christmas. I did. Yeah, how was your Christmas, Miss Patterson? Very good. Good. Very good. You spend it with your family? Couldn't ask for better. You spend it with your family? In the land of the living. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you know, health is stress. That's what my mom always say. I say the same thing now. <laughs> you know, most people I ask, that's... Yeah, everybody the said they just thank God they're waking yes, up today. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me to come on your show today. Well, I you can know, hardly hear you. You can't hear me? I don't know if something's going on. Uh, can, you, can you hear me now? I've changed phones ever since I dialed in, so it's not my phone. I can hear you on the radio, but on the phone, you're not there. It's, I'm not clear? But you can hear me, though, on the radio? I can hear you on the radio. All right. So I, at least you can hear me. The phone and, going on. Go, go ahead. We'll make it. Yeah, we'll make it happen then. I think, I don't know, because yeah. we're good on it. We're clear on this. This And Chanel, our engineer, said we're clear on this. And so, but anyway, so um, let's talk about the Martin Luther King event that you do every year. Um, 
How long have you been uh, hosting the Martin Luther King? Martin Luther King um, so what? What? First of all, what made what made you start the Martin Luther King event? Um, the reason why at, I started at it, uh, because Brother Bell was doing it uh, before I took on, mm -hmm. and I was on his committee for I guess about ten years, and then when he decided he did, he wasn't going to do it anymore. And we thought he was just kidding, you know, because mm -hmm. that previous year he had said he was going to stop it. He didn't. And so he had sent all of those letters in 2006 that he wasn't going to do it anymore. And so I didn't believe him. I thought he was just teasing. So usually he started his meetings around October. So mm -hmm. he, after he had sent the letter, he had started the meeting in October. I had to call him to see if he really was done with it. And he said yes. And so... I did try to get some other people after he said he definitely wasn't going to do it anymore. And I just had enjoyed it so much being on the committee with him. And I didn't want it to just dissolve and just go away. So I reached out to some people in the community. I think Bishop, uh, uh, no, Reverend uh, Chapman was one of them. Bishop uh, Bronner was another one. Bishop Sanders. But anyway, nobody didn't, you know, couldn't do it. So around December of that year, I decided, I said, well, I may well try to go and try to do something that was in December. And the program usually is in January, so I was able to put together a committee real quick. And uh, we was able to have it at St. John Baptist Church. So the, the uh, first time you did it. Seven. Now, let's get, so listeners, you can understand. Which is 2006 when I was planning it. Okay. So we were able to have it, and it turned out so well. So I decided uh, we needed a bigger place, so I reached out to Klein Hands, and uh, that was a blessing. And the rest is history, so I just decided I would do it. I enjoyed it so well because uh, I just didn't want to let Dr. King's uh, legacy, legacy and yeah. Memory and this dream. I wanted to do what I could do to keep it going. So that's what prompted me to do it. So my first one was in 2007, which is this 2024 will be the 18th program that I have done. And we're looking forward to that. And uh, so we got two great. I want to I want to go over real quick. Um, Ms. So Patterson. my heart to get two speakers this year. So I reached out to Dr. Tanya Williams, the school superintendent, and to our state senator, Tim Kennedy, and both of them were happy to do it. And it's just been going well ever since as far as the planning was concerned, because I started this last year in August. Mm -hmm. when I, no, it wasn't last year, or this year in August. That's right, this year not gone yet. I started in August with doing this, and so... We have it all together. It seems like it's going to be a great affair, a great event. And we have uh, 15 awardees that we're giving a Dr. Martin Luther King Celebration Award. And, and we are doing some couples because we see that uh, couples are working together in ministry and doing things together. And we know the devil would wouldn't want that. He doesn't want, he want to break up families, break up marriages and all that stuff. And so it came to me to reach out to couples that are doing things in the neighborhood. So I decided to do that. And I have three couples that we're going to be honoring, which that told 15 people for this year. And I'm just looking forward to it. It just seems like it's going to be a blast. And we're inviting everybody to come out and uh, witnesses, and let's just lift up Dr. King, honor him, and watch all and hear all of the acts that's going to be singing and dancing. And so where is it? Good. Where is it going to be? Just looking forward to it. That's going to be Sunday, January 14th, 6 to 9 at Klein Hands Music Hall. Okay, so this is going to be uh, Sunday, the 4th, January 14th, right? January the 14th. The doors will open at 5 o'clock. And so you're going to have guest speakers this year, Senator Tim Kennedy and uh, Dr. The, Tanya, Dr. Tanya, the Williams, superintendent of schools. School superintendent. So, uh, so no, let's go back a little bit because I got some time. And um, so, so people don't know, Cliff Bell 
it was the former uh, councilman at large, the city of Buffalo, right? So he started, from what you're telling me, he started the Martin Luther King event at Klein House. Because this is like the regional event. It's really big, you know? And so um, you took it over from there 18 years ago, right? Yes. Okay. And first you had it at what you said, I'm sorry, was it St. John's? That's when I first had it. Brother Bell had it at, he had it at uh, Shays Buffalo. Oh, at Shays Buffalo. So was that Shays Buffalo at one the point, the Martin Luther King event? The okay. one I had was at St. John's. Because okay. it was just like the last minute, I had to get mine started in December. So I had like one month to, put, mm -hmm. to get it together. And so when I asked uh, Reverend Chapman if we could have it there, and he said yes. Okay. And I rushed and put a group together, and I called up the speakers that I wanted. I called up several of ministers. I can't think of all of them offhand, but I know it was Bishop Badger, uh, uh, Matthew Brown, uh, Bishop Prison, James Lewis, uh, Bishop Spajak. Uh, the so, pastor was at... Uh, so you got all this stored in your memory, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is in my memory. <laughs> and, uh, I'm just speaking to all these, all these, I just called and told them, I, I, I don't have time to send you a letter. We just need to, you know, just come together as quickly as we can to make this thing happen. And they graciously agreed and came together. Good. And uh, it was a great affair because uh, we had, see, the Lord would give you, this, he, he, you know, you, well, I have discernment, and he would give you something. You put him first. He will help you do what you want to do. Yeah. So, and I just had an idea that we wouldn't be able to see everybody that wanted to come. So uh -huh. we invited participants, the choirs and dancers and things like that. I said we would uh, meet in the basement, and I asked Stan Coleman uh, to put up a screen so they would be able to see what's going on upstairs in the auditorium. Because at that time, he was doing uh, the recordings for St. John anyway for their services okay. on Sundays. And what was it Stan Coleman? Didn't he work for Stan Channel 2? So he decided he would put up a screen so the people, the participants, while it was in the basement, could see what's going on upstairs. And so cause there wasn't enough room upstairs because the people were there and. uh, uh. They were assembled downstairs, but they could see what's going on. And as they had, as they were going to do their acts, they would come out of the basement and go upstairs to the uh, choir stand to sing or whatever. It, it was just phenomenal. I tell you, it was good. It was really good. And because uh, we had to turn people away, they couldn't get in the church. Yeah, it, it was it was packed the first day, huh? The, the first one you did at St. John's was. Was uh, the church was full of uh, the balcony and everything, huh? Everywhere there was no. They, they had to turn people had locked the actually locked the door. Couldn't let anybody in. So it was five cord. So this Couldn't year, this year I now you've been every, every year it grows, um, and you've been at Klein Hands for how long now? Seventeen years. Yeah. Okay, so do you? They, 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 and then who was the main spot? Who's been the main sponsor of? Who's been the main sponsor of uh, the Martin Luther King event? Well, I know MNT Bank and mm. Wegman have been there from the very beginning. Okay. From the very beginning, but I'd like to include the ones that are got on board since then, I can name them. I have them right here before me. Go ahead, name them. They did deserve okay. the credit. M&T Bank, Wegman Foods, Senator Tim Kennedy, the Freddie Buffalo World Class Acoustic Guitars, West Her Automotive Group in Williamsville, Councilman Rashid Wyatt, Councilman Leah Halton Pope, Councilman Zanetta Everhart, ECMC, Mayor Byron Brown, Legislator Howard Johnson, Legislator April Baskin, Community Health Center, and Allen Core Funeral Home. Those are the sponsors this year. But there have been other sponsors that uh, that have sponsored down through the years. You know, Ms. That, Ms. Uh, Patterson. Are not sponsoring this year. I, you know, it usually be different yeah. ones, but the two that have been there from the beginning are m and Bank and Wegmans Food. That's They've good. Been there from That's good. Yeah. So we, I think we should give a, a shout out to April Baskin. You know, you heard that her house 
got caught on fire. Did you hear that? No, I didn't know. No, she yeah, it was, it was a bad deal too. Um, oh, so I'm our sorry to hear yeah, that. chair chairperson, county chairperson, um, uh, county chairperson of the legislature, April Baskin, right. her house was yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And to she's hear got that a GoFundMe account, so everybody out there should you know give pray for April Baskin and her family. And I'm it was it that. was a tough deal for them. And it, and I spoke to her, and she's recovering. Um, she didn't get hurt oh. though. They were able to get out the house, but she the house she, she had just bought a brand new house and then it burnt down. I mean, it got wow. bad damage. I'm it didn't, reach out to it. Yeah, it didn't burn to the ground, but the bad damage. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So let's give a shout out to April Basket, everybody. You know, just uh, yeah. pray for her and give her a call if you know her personally and said you I heard. Of, you said that. you heard about it. Um, thank you for letting me know, and thank you for having me on to talk about well, my. Yeah, I want to talk about. You, you so the, the, the Martin Luther King event. It, 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 it's a, a great affair that we don't need to forget or uh, push it aside and, and yeah. not help it yeah. to happen every year because it's beneficial. And what I do uh, when we uh, do the honorees, and I always do. Who are the honorees this year? Who are the honorees? The honorees. Oh, you want to know who I read? Yeah, well, I got some time. I tell it, Mom. You got the okay. whole show. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, we have Angela Stewart. She's getting the Christian Leadership Award. She's the pastor at the uh, Metropolitan Church over there on. Uh, yeah. Street. Yeah, been there. She's very good. Good. Good pastor. Very. She speaks very well. Yeah, she's right. pretty good. And we have Andrew L. Davis. He's getting the Businessman Award. He works over at ECMC, one of the top men over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Raul and Tony Van Square, you know them? Yes. They are getting the Medical Award because I've been knowing them, too, for yeah. years because uh, Tony and her twin sister, one married a doctor and one married a minister. Okay, yeah, and they're, and they're and, uh, and the Vasquezes, they do a lot of good work on the West Side. Very um, good work. Yeah, they, they yeah. They really do. And we got Tracy Tra Singletary is getting the Education Award. He's been a uh, school teacher, music teacher, principal, and he retired, and he still substitutes to go back and do what he can even now. He hasn't uh, left the school system, so we're giving him the Education Award. And Betty Jean Grant is getting the Woman of the Extension Award, and we know mm -hmm. that Good things Betty has done in yes. our city. Okay, yeah. And William Covington, who's uh, he's a part of our committee, and he's been there since day one. And he's a member at St. John Baptist Church, and he's done a lot of things to help in the community with the mm. SEIU uh, union and over with Reverend mm. Chapman with the St. John, the million, billion, or whatever they yeah. call called there. It's called the billion... He's he's got the he's got a billion dollars he's gonna spend in the city of yeah, Brussels. That's right. good. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we'll have Jerry Shirley Troutman. Okay. No, oh, she yeah. And we have uh, Dr. Frederick and Lydia Gelsey. So what is they what have, is uh, uh what is Judge Trout what is former Judge Troutman? What is they've been going back into the prison because you know Dr. Gelsey don't mind telling about he's seven he spent seventeen years in prison, and then we came out. He was paroled to Buffalo, New York, where he met his wife. Mm -hmm. And they've been doing prison ministry, going going back into prisons. Yeah, he, he does a good job. Yeah, yeah. It's such a hard thing for them to be in, be locked up so mm -hmm. much. So he went through that. So he spends a lot of his time going back trying to help them. So we're uh, giving him and his wife the prison ministry. And Barbara Locke, who is a former police woman, she uh, was giving her the Medal of Valor Award. And Bernada Arias, she works at Roswell Park. She's getting a Community Leadership Award. And then Reverend Dwayne Jones, the pastor mm -hmm. of uh, Mighty Iron Baptist Church on Genesee, yeah. and the Humanitarian Award. Yeah, he does a lot of good stuff. He's really building up over there on uh, on Sycamore right. and uh, uh -huh. um, uh, and last but least, on Genesee, rather. Kenneth and Sharon Holly, because we know Sharon and her husband have been in in business for quite some time, and we reached to decide we do the Black Business Owner Award yeah. this year, and so there'll be others we'll be looking for. We're watching everybody 
doing a year and deciding who we want to honor the next year because we want people to know that people are watching you and they appreciate your presence and what you are doing in mm -hmm. the community because our young people, not only are, are the adults watching, the young people are watching all of us. Yeah. And we have to be careful what we're doing and we are their role models. And this is what we want these children to see, that it, all of these awardees have done great things, like Dr. King, and they, too, could do the same thing. And after we do the awards for these uh, prominent people, we have all, invite all the young people that's in attendance to come on stage and uh, greet these awardees and let them know that they, too, can be judges, they can be lawyers, they can be preachers, they can build senior citizen buildings and whatever it is they want to do. They can be, even be the president of the United States. Whatever it is they want to be, they can do it if they stay in school and uh, work toward doing something positive because they will be the leaders in a few years and they need to be prepared. Like these people prepared themselves. They didn't get yeah. there just by looking handsome and pretty. They had to put in some work, and we want our young people to know. Real quick, Miss Patterson, I, I have Bessie Patterson on the line. And real quick, because uh, you do not just the Martin Luther King event, you do uh, the Gospel Fest every year too, right? Oh, yeah, I do the gospel fest. Oh, I've been doing that for a long, 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 long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing that for a long, 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 long time. But I'm going to do as long as I can, and then I'll pass the baton to someone else. But as long as the Lord has me healthy in my right mind and able to do it, I'm going to do it because he didn't tell me to go in no time to stop. He will stop me when he wants me to be stopped. People put age limit on what we are able to do. But if we are in the Bible and read what the Bible says right. about people that did things in their old age. I got... And uh, God is the same as he was yesterday and yesterday. Right. I will be the same God. And I believe that strongly. And I want to be one of those examples. So I got the, I got uh, Murray Holman just sent a message saying that uh, you know Murray Holman from Stop the Violence, right? Yes. Uh -huh. He just said that you he gives you guys he gives uh, you pizza every from Stop the Violence they give you pizza. Uh, uh, oh, the peacemakers or something they give you some. Yeah, they'll be there. They'll be there. They're with us every year. Yeah, yeah. I guess we're in communication with Pastor Giles. Right. Right. Yeah, they're always there um, serving us, and we appreciate them for doing that. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to take a call. I think we have a call for you, Ms. Patterson. Uh, welcome to a senior moment. Well, we'll see. Okay. We'll hold on for a second. Okay. Uh, hello, caller. Hello. Thanks for calling into a senior moment. I have Betsy Patterson on the line. Yes, good morning, good morning. This is Pat. God bless you, Sister Patterson. God bless you, Senior, senior Moment. Thank you so uh, much. You know I am so proud of, of Bessie Patterson. I mean, there's not too many people out here that have that much energy to put that many people together, even with the gospel, gospel and that current gen. And, and, and her strength and her spirit that she has into it. I've been a recipient of both of them. And, and God bless you, Bessie. God bless you. And, and God's got his arm wrapped around me. And I know that you know that because you're a God fearing mama. So I'm yeah. going to be there. Only thing I, I won't be there because I won't have my health and strength. But stay encouraged. God bless you. But taking up that torch all those years. I mean, I didn't know that short length of time that you did that. I went to October, November. And you put that together by January at St. John's Church. Wow. Yeah. What the, that says a lot about you. Keep up the good work, Bessie. God bless you, baby. Caller, what's your name? What's your name, caller? My name is Pat. You know who I am? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for calling. That's uh was Pat. Yes. Uh, see, Miss Patterson, like you said, everybody's always watching. <laughs> see? Yeah, people are watching you. People are yeah. watching you. You yeah. know, you have to be careful what you do. 
And you can be a good role model or a bad role model, so I prefer being a good one. Prefer being a good one. That's what we try doing here. Uh, people that's going to do positive things, not mm. negative things. And I was listening to uh, Bishop Badger's program this morning, and they were talking about the, the tobacco and stuff uh -huh. like that. It's how it's harming our people, and uh, which is a bad thing. And we just have to make sure that each one try to save one and save our young people because they don't know the way we yeah. want to yeah. lead them. Yeah. Lead them the way. And we can do it by our action. They see us doing things, they'll try to do it too. This has been a great we conversation. Know, we the same thing. This has been a great because conversation. There's so much evil yeah. nowadays. And it's evil that have always been around. But uh, it just seems like people don't care now. No love. Mm. No love. Just dog eat dog. It's all about me. Yeah, things it's, have changed since we were since we came me. up. Yeah, yeah and, 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 and things have changed. You know, we need to talk about that more. And I think I'm going to talk about that more. Because I remember when I was young, the, your neighbor could snatch you up off the street and say, I'm going to take you to your mom's. And, yeah. you know, and it was like a village on every street. And now... Right. It's like, oh gosh, you you have to, uh, yeah. you got to be careful nowadays, and this is awful, and it's awful well, that our it's awful that our seniors can't go out at night anymore. It's it awful, is. and you're absolutely it right. Really is. It's, it's so sad. And you get scared, but and you no, shouldn't have to be scared. Have to depend on God. Yeah. That, that's the basic of it. We left God out of things that we are doing. We just figure God. I don't know what people look like. I want to do a whole story on that, but you know what? I'm out of time. January 14th, 6 o'clock, Client Hands Music Hall. Really quick, Ms. Patterson, what should people expect? Because we're out of time. And thank you so much for calling into the show today. Um, what? So January 16th, people just come. It's free. Client Hands Music Hall, right? January 14th. January the 14th. 14th. Right. And it's Client Hands Music Hall, 6 o'clock, the, the, the annual Martin Luther King event that's hosted right. by uh, Bessie Patterson. Is what would Martin Luther King say in 2024? There you go. 60 years after the March on Washington, what 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 would he say? Just keep that in mind. That's our theme. What would Martin Luther King say? Is the host in is is Reverend Lewis going to be the host? Is Reverend Lewis going to be the host? One of the hosts help you host? He does it every year, right? I have a committee. Yeah, Reverend Lewis is one of the committee people. Okay. He'll be working with us also. All right. He, uh, we have Ulysses uh, Wingo, okay. Craig uh, a Prison, Sharon Patterson White, Karen Peterson, Martha Connor. This is a committee. They're all committed people working with me. Great. So he won't be hosting like doing all everything by himself. No. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be doing that. Yeah. So people he lucky they won't get me. joked on. <laughs> so he worked with me, and they were good to with me too. I know. They always tell me I try to boss around, which I do. <laughs> well, you I'm boss. So they, are, they are my supporters. So they, they got my back. All right, what a great show! Thank you so much for. I'm glad I. Had, I'm glad you called in today, and I'm glad we were able to talk about Martin Luther King event January 14th. Client Hands Music Hall, 6 o'clock. It's free to get in. The Mar the annual Martin Luther King event hosted, uh, sponsored, I mean, created, one of the creators, uh, Betsy Patterson, and she's going to be the host. And there's going to be a lot of great events. Go so uh, we'll see you there because I'm coming. I come every year. Okay. God bless you. Have a good day. All right. Thank God you. All right. You All right. Bye-bye. All right. This is the Senior Moment Radio Show. We'll see you here next week on WFO Radio 96.5, 1080. Have a good day. Get outside. It's kind of snow, kind of raining, a little bit of snow, but we're fine. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. Go Bills. You just heard a senior moment with Carrie Saunders. Join Carrie every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. right here for a senior moment on the legendary Power 96.5.